hear from Luke. Hey, Luke, can you just describe what's been going on with this team right now, the offense in particular? Um, not getting the job done. I mean, that's all I got to say. Honestly, it's um, it's everybody in our lineup. You know, it's we need to we need to figure this out. We got 18 games left, and um, we got to keep grinding. I believe in this team. I know it's a repetitive statement, and it's been frustrating for everybody. Um, but we got to break through somehow. You know, it's gonna the game's a crazy game, but we just got to um, you know trust it and believe in ourselves that we're gonna get the job done tomorrow. We can take a next question for Luke. We'll go to James Wagner. Hey, Luke, you guys are a 500 team right now and you have eight seed, holding out of eight seed there in the playoffs. So do, do both of those kind of feel like alarming or surprising to you given how you started and the talent on this team? Yeah, I mean, I almost feel like it's embarrassing for us right now, especially with everything that's been going on. And, um, you know, it's, it's hard to put a finger on everything. I mean, I feel like everything's just not going our way, but... Um, we're still in it. Um, you can't ever count us out. And, you know, our goal is to obviously get in the you know playoffs. I guess it doesn't really matter as long as we get in. I think we have a chance, you know, obviously with getting some of the guys back too. But um, we just got to step up as a team. There's a lot of guys that need to step up in this clubhouse. And, and I know Cash talked to you guys earlier before the game, before the game, and he talked to us and explained what he told you guys. Do you feel like that was something needed? What did you take away from um, his, his comments to you guys? Uh, just, you know, the confidence that we should have. I feel like a lot of guys have, you know, lost their confidence, whether that's, you know, at the plate or on the mound, you know, making mental errors when we need big plays. And, um, you know, you got to remember who you are. There's a lot of good players in this locker room that are, you know, struggling right now. And, you know, but in previous years, they, in previous, you know, a couple of weeks ago, they were doing fantastic jobs. And then we just got to get back to, to, to what the New York Yankees are. I mean, you know, I, I feel like teams aren't really scared of us right now. And it's kind of a sad thing because we're the New York Yankees and we're, you know, obviously probably favored to, you know, win the division this year. And that, you know, obviously has gone away. So we got to step it up. Thanks. We can take another for Luke if there are any. Eric Boland, please unmute. Luke, just to follow up on, on the Cashman meeting, just what were you guys' thoughts when, you know, you heard – hey, we're going to have a meeting and, and the GM is going to address it. That doesn't happen very often, certainly not with this franchise. Yeah, it's, you know, something that, you know, obviously no one expected. And for him to come in, I mean, it's – he means business. And, you know, he need, he knows that we need to play better. And um, But, you know, it wasn't, you know, a panic button, anything like that. It was more of just, you know, go out there and be you and stop trying to be someone else. And I think a lot of guys in the clubhouse are trying to get the job done instead of trusting it and, you know, doing all their homework on what they need to do and, you know, trusting their abilities. You know, all these guys made it to the big leagues because of their skills and because of their mental capacity. And I think a lot of guys are getting away from it and trying to, you know, hit a three on homer instead of maybe just getting a, getting a guy over or, you know, making a big pitch in a certain count and then going to your secondary pitches. It's, um, I think it's a little bit overthinking, but, you know, it's nice to have a GM that's in your corner and, you know, help try to bring the confidence back in the locker room. Thank you, Luke. Next one to Brian Hoke. Hey, Luke. When you say you don't feel like teams around the league are scared of you guys anymore, in what ways does that show up? In what ways do you feel that? I just, you know, we're not getting it, it, I don't want to say we're not scared, but it's just, I just feel like, you know, you know, we obviously don't have a lot of our guys and, you know, our big horses in our rotation. We don't have, you know, obviously G and Judgy and, um, you know, we've just been playing like crap. And it's the bottom line is I, you know, I mean, we're getting beat by teams that we handily beat the last couple of years and um, they're outplaying us. And, you know, the bottom line is we need to go out there, put our bootstraps on and get to going tomorrow. It's, um, it's frustrating. It's frustrating for us too. I mean, trust me. I mean, every time we think we have a chance, it's somehow we ended up doing something wrong. And, um, we just need to go back to having fun. This game's already hard enough, and we're making it really hard on ourselves right now. Well, Luke Voigt, with uh, a, a lot of pizzazz in his comments and, and uh, a lot of self-reflection and a lot of honesty there, Jack. Spitting a lot of truths is what Luke <laughs> Voigt is doing right there, talking about feeling embarrassed by the way the Yankees have played, talking about 
teams are not intimidated by the Yankees anymore. John Flaherty mentioned that earlier in our show. And when you are a team that's lost 15 of its last 20 games, you're not bullying anyone anymore. And teams are hungry to beat you. And we have seen that recently with the Orioles and with the Blue Jays. A lot of respect for Luke Voigt for bringing that honesty out of the clubhouse because, yes, the Yankees still have time to turn this around, Ryan. They've got 18 games left. As of right now, they control their own destiny, but they also have the Orioles half a game behind them. They have the Tigers one game behind them. That was not supposed to be a factor for a team that thought it was going to win the World Series. So I think as Luke Voigt sat there and answered those questions, there was almost therapy involved in that because he never expected to be talking about the Yankees in this position at this point. Yeah,